Thanks very much, John. I should think it's been snow and cold, gusty winds that have been in everyone's mind in the last 24 hours in some atrocious conditions. But thankfully, things are a little bit better now. Just a few snow showers in the north. Although, having said that, it is still cold. Temperatures only a degree or so above freezing in the highlands. Further southwest, though, quite a change happening today. We're starting to see some mild air creeping in on these southwesterly winds from the Atlantic. And already about 10 or 11 Celsius now in southern parts of Ireland, around 11 in Cornwall and the Channel Isles. So what's happening? Well, Atlantic systems are rattling. And these are going to bring much milder air right across the British Isles and also some heavy rain as well. Now, there are two concerns as that comes in. We've got a weather watch on this for tonight and tomorrow. I think as that wetter weather eventually arrives in the far north, we'll see some snow for a time over the highlands and northeast Scotland, possibly some significant snow. But that should turn back to rain quite quickly tomorrow as that mild air creeps in. And then with heavy rain and that snow thaw, we could see an increased risk of flooding. That's something to bear in mind for Monday. Let's take a look at what we've had then. We had all those snow showers yesterday, a mass of them. They faded away to leave a fine, frosty night, but already the cloud is streaming in ahead of our next weather system. And most of what you're seeing on the radar here is rain. Just a little bit of sleetiness left over some of the hills as it pushes into the West Country. So it's a pretty wet and gloomy scene through Ireland, Wales, much of southern Britain. That rain continues to push eastwards. But really just patchy rain or sleet for northern England, southern Scotland. And we keep some bright weather and scatter snow showers in the north. Now, it will stay quiet for a time tonight in the north, a little bit of frost and some patchy mist and fog. But by the end of the night, that weather system will have pushed right in across Scotland. And it does look as though there'll be that snow risk there by the end of the night. That could still cause some problems early on Monday. But really, for most, I think just a short-lived problem. That all turning back to rain again, and it's going to be a pretty wet start to the week. Some heavy rain, strong winds, and then turning brighter with showers later. But look at the temperatures well up on today. 7 in the north, 12, possibly 13 in the south. For Tuesday's forecast, another showery day, windier though with gales and possibly windier still midweek as that low pushes in across Scotland and we see a little squeeze in the isobars there across central Britain. Tuesday's forecast then, gales particularly in the south and more western areas, plenty of showers and then for the middle of the week that squeeze of winds, especially through southern Scotland, northern England and northern Ireland, possibly more persistent rain here. For the rest of us though, showers and a colder day on Wednesday, temperatures between around 6 and 9. And it will stay cold for the rest of the week as well, but the winds drop out. You can see how our low pushes out into Scandinavia, and there's hardly any isobars by the end of the week. So it will start to feel a little bit better. There'll be more frost around during the nights and mornings, but there will still be some slow-moving showers and those of sleet and snow. So let's take a look at the summary then, a three-way split. The problem's really in the short term with that wetter, milder weather coming in. Very windy midweek, and then much, much quieter later on. That's your weather.